Chicago's Lay Nocturne charity live stream for the night ministry. Let's give it up for Keanu, first of all. Such an amazing set. Such an amazing set. We, we have Ron Carroll coming up next. We are so excited for that. But first of all, we want to remind you guys that there is that donation link in the Twitch stream comments. We're almost at $3,000 now, right guys? We're like at almost halfway to our goal, so keep those donations coming in. We are so thrilled to be doing this today for the night ministry. This is a really important cause. So I, uh, I see the guys are still getting set up, but Ron, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. I have some questions for you. Uh-oh. Are you going to answer some questions for me? I'm going to try. I'm okay. going to do my best. All right. No, nothing too tough. This is not an exam. Thank you. Okay? Thank this you. is this is not an exam. Thank but, you. But I did do my research on you. I mean, I know a little bit about you, but I had to do okay. some research. Okay. So I'm going to start with a softball first. Okay. okay? Let's, so I heard, or I read, that you got your music, musical career started in the choir is that true yes well you know growing up in a black home on the south side of chicago you automatically you're gonna go that you're gonna go to church that's automatic every sunday so they found out as a kid i had like a little voice on me i sounded okay so they put me in a choir and that's how everything got started as far as the love of music and the vibration of music absolutely so that you actually just led into my next question what are the similarities between house music and gospel music? Well, because, you know, gospel is spiritual, mm -hmm. and so is house music. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no scientific method to house. It's just something that connects to your spirit, mm -hmm. and it, 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 it makes it move, and it makes it do things and feel things that's not of the norm. And that's why we just say house is a spiritual thing, because you can't explain the spiritual. And, and that's why they call you the minister of sound, right? Well, I got the minute. Well, I got the minister of sound because I used to because coming from the church, I used to take a house beat and take my pastor's message on cassette tape mm. and play it over the beat and make like this like church service type thing. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Okay, that wasn't too hard, right? No, it wasn't. Okay, okay, no, okay. we're rolling right about. into it. We're rolling. Okay, I know okay. you want to play, but we're okay. gonna roll right into it. Okay. okay. So obviously, a lot of people. Uh, have experienced, you know, different. They've been affected differently by this pandemic, especially artists. What you love to do, playing in front of people, has been essentially thwarted. So, what yeah. have what have you learned about yourself as an artist? You know. Well, you know, uh, the way we were trained uh, years ago is that we just love playing. So we came up playing in basements in our homes in the, in the bedroom with just a few friends. That's how we started. So the whole thing that the way it blew up is, is magical, correct? Mm -hmm. But a lot of people stay in that mind frame. It's got to be people in front of me. So all I did was uh, go back to my roots and just appreciate that, that small audience, that small group of friends, or just playing to, for people to feel, whether it be virtually or in front of them. So I just went back to that. I love that. And so many DJs have turned to these live streams yeah. to, to get their fix. Are you getting your fix? Do you enjoy doing it in this format? It's, as long as I can press play and feel it, whether I'm by myself yeah. or whatever, it's there. That's yeah. my fix. Yeah. I, I love that. And the fans love it too. I mean, we're all sitting at home. We need a way to connect to feel you know, that community aspect. Correct. Awesome. Okay, I have one more question okay. for you. And this is from my friend Jeff Harris. He, uh -oh. he DJed at 3 a.m., I think. He was, he was here so early. So <laughs> he's actually, I think he's uh, coaching a basketball game right now. The guy never stops. Wow. He's, he's a good friend of mine, great DJ. Dope. So I wrote this down because okay. it was important that I get it right. Okay. He wants to know what you think we can do as a community to open the house music culture up to black kids and give them a musical outlet. Hmm. Well, I think, let's talk about with the older generation, my generation, we're into it already, we're there. The younger ones, of course, um, it's hip hop and it's negativity attached to our youth on the black end. OK. And this is why a lot of our DJs or artists, they don't get the platform because of the negativity that's linked to the crowd. You understand? It's not it's not that they're not talented to do it. It's just that the crowd that's linked. That's like if you take a black guy, you say, OK, you put him on the cover of DJ Mag and Mix Mag. It's like, OK, great. But then all of a sudden you like shit. I'm scared. Can I say shit? Yeah. OK. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just said make sure, you know, it might be a family program. <laughs> But you get to the point where you like, oh wow, okay, if I blow this character up, like a like a like a Calvin Harris, 
But now the audience, I'm afraid of the younger audience because of the music that they listen to. And see, the one thing about black kids, we take on the life. That's what I've learned. A lot of white kids, they say, okay, I like the moment. They live in the moment. Okay, if you go to a club, you may turn up with your people for the moment, but then you know how to go back to a certain life. Where our people, we take on the full lifestyle and, and aspect of the sound. So that's the dangerous part. If we can disconnect that part, then it'd be good. Thank you so much. That's a really insightful answer. And we can't forget that we literally would not have house music without black creators. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, we just, it's, you know, we're in a time warp. It'll come back around. It'll absolutely. come back around. Yeah. Ron, thank you so much. Uh -oh. I know he wants to get to playing, so thank you all for watching. $3,000 raised so far. Everyone, keep those donations coming in. Thank you so much.
Thank you guys. Thank you so much. 